When their 2010-2011 season was derailed by a rash of late season injuries, the pioneers of Joe Scott couldn't wait for the 2011-2012 campaign. With Rob Lewis returning from injury, Denver essentially had six starters on its roster. Heading into the season, the Pioneers fully expected to ride that experience to a breakout year. Well, the Pioneers indeed had a breakout season, but it wasn't due entirely to the veterans. The 2011-2012 Pioneers proved to be the perfect blend of experience and youth. With a wealth of experience to work with, Coach Scott and his staff focused on two main areas heading into the season. One, upgrading the non-conference schedule to further challenge their team. And two, giving this year's squad more freedom, putting the decision-making process in the players' hands and putting players in more defined roles. The Pioneers embraced the challenge and came roaring out of the gate with four straight wins to start the year, including convincing victories over a pair of teams that would wind up ranked in the top 30. Opening tap controlled by Rob Lewis. Chase Hallow on the break. The driving layup scores. Philadelphia hands off to O'Neal. He'll fire another three. He'll hit another three. And Olsen there with him. Down the lane he goes. Offensive foul. Travis Hallam taking the charge. We'll go back the other way. O'Neal beats the defense. Strong to the bucket. Good on a foul. Shot. That was Udolfia. Oh, Udolfia just cupped that shot and sent it out. Oh, pretty feed. Udolfia blocked the shot again. That was cat quick. Udolfia running the floor. And he rolls it down. Something at the start of the year you didn't think they were going to do. Another three-pointer by Hallam. And DU really heating up. It's 13-9. O'Neal going baseline, back to Coughlin, who tries the three again, and hits it. Basketball, double team, back out to Coughlin for three, and he hits it again. Rob Lewis working inside, goes up strong, gets the bucket, plus the foul. Olsen's going to pull up for three, and he hits it. As they beat St. Mary's by a score of 70 to 58, the Pioneers are now 4-0 on the season. After a loss at 18th-ranked Cal, the Pioneers responded by snapping Utah State's 33-game home win streak with a convincing 67-54 decision. Wins over Texas Southern, Northern Colorado, and Boise State would follow, as well as an 11-point victory over regional rival Wyoming. With some double coverage, Udofia intercepts the ball, and he will stuff this one home to make it a 5-2 ball game. Chase Hallam finds an open shot, takes it, and drains it. It'll be a deal with the ball. Five on the shot clock, goes baseline, kicks it out to staff with a three-point attempt. Is good. Wyoming needs a defensive stop here. Olsen for three, hits it! Boy, and a big three-pointer by the freshman. They knock off the Cowboys here, and that's a big feather in the cap for this Denver program. The end of the calendar year found the Pioneers hosting the Troy Trojans. It was another double-digit win, lifting Denver to 11-2, their best Division I start in school history. The Pioneers are going to have to work hard to find some openings. Stafford out top, drills the triple. Rob Lewis down low, Udofia going for the dunk, and he throws it down with the right hand. Out top to Olsen, now back to O'Neal, corner Hallam. He'll spot, he'll fire, he'll hit. Travis Hallam hits the three. Right, Denver breaks out three on one. Left side to O'Neal, he'll throw it down. Royce O'Neal, his first collegiate dunk. O'Neal looking to dribble drive, spins into the paint, sends it out to Travis, three-pointer. Favorite spot, favorite result. He's got a couple of threes. Denver's momentum was briefly slowed by a home loss to Arkansas Little Rock. But just like their previous two losses, the Pioneers came storming back. DU rallied to beat Arkansas State in Jonesboro, then routed South Alabama in Mobile. Then came Western Kentucky at Magnus Arena, and the Pioneers put on a first-half clinic behind Chris Udofia. Stafford, Stafford give and go. Udofia throws it down. But Olsen looking to get the shot away. Udofia will get it away and got it. Lewis to Dolph. 
Turns, uh-oh, look out! Oh, Udolfia brings down the house. Right there, feeds into the paint. Oh, Brett Olsen blocks the shot, and that will be the end of the first half. In 20 minutes of play, the Pioneers outscore the Hilltoppers 43-16. to 16. A win over Louisiana Monroe was followed by a heartbreaking buzzer beater at North Texas. Denver again responded to a loss with a terrific effort, this time routing Arkansas State in front of another big crowd at Magnus Arena. An opportunity to win that basketball game. Hell, we're underway here at Magnus Arena. Quick pass to Chase Howland who lays it in, and it's a quick two for the Pioneers. Yeah, a little is a steal by Chase Hallam. Hallam's going to go straight into the lane and lay it in. That one turned over. Stafford going for it, able to keep control of the dribble and lay it in. Wide open for three, whistle. That one will count, plus the foul on Finn. Olsen for three. How about an eight-point play? That one blocked by O'Neal. Gets it ahead to Udofi, and he's going to stop this one home. That set up what turned out to be the most gut-wrenching road trip of the year. A seven-point loss to Little Rock and a controversial overtime setback at the hands of Louisiana Lafayette. Even worse, Denver had just 41 and a half hours to return home and get ready for the best team in the belt, Middle Tennessee. But in front of a national ESPN TV audience and the most raucous crowd in Magnus Arena history, the Pioneers sent the Blue Raiders packet with their first conference loss of the season. Stafford's got it. Baseline right to Rob Lewis, trying to back his man down. Gets in close and lays it up and in right around J.T. Solt. Puts it on the deck, gives it to Rob Lewis. Down the lane goes Rob. He's got six on the board. He's right, gives it off to Rob Lewis. Rob, oh, what a spin move, layup, good. But yeah, trust me. Oh, block shot as Sean Jones just met Chris Udolfia. They're leading by three. Udolfia, uh oh, inside reverse jam. He got a step, and that's all it takes. Udolfia's got the ball for Denver. Stafford, long three, good. O'Neal going to take it right down the lane, take it right to the rim, bucket and one! Oh, up and under, scoop shot, that was a thing of beauty! O'Neal's got 13, take that! Knight's got the rebound, oh, Yadokia blocks the shot, rebound fought for Olsen's got it, three on one, Olsen down the middle to give to Stafford, across the lane, Ron Lewis, bucket and one! The Pioneers win it by 15. The students storm the court. That is a first here at the University of Denver. They circle around the players, and they are having themselves quite a time. Pioneers win it 75-60, the final count. Hundreds of students on that court, and that is what college basketball is supposed to look like. After splitting its final road trip, Denver returned home from Florida to play its final three regular season games. Conference wins number 9, 10, and 11 came at the expense of the Cajuns, Warhawks, and Mean Green. Stafford crashes the board and comes up with the ball. He'll get it to O'Neal, bucket and one! Pretty. Bullet pass into the paint off the hands of Franklin. O'Neal again comes up with the loose ball. Here comes Royce O'Neal going all the way to the rim! Three minutes gone here in the second half. Stafford catch and shoot, got it. Brian Stafford, career three, number 258. Well, you want a fitting into this one. Coughlin trying to get the ball up ahead to Pickard. Pickard got the green light, the score, he drives and lays it up and in. The Pioneers knock off the mean green. Final count, 64-52. The Pioneers end the regular season with four consecutive wins. The Pioneers entered their final Sun Belt tournament as the number three seed. After knocking off South Alabama, the Pioneers fell to eventual tournament champion Western Kentucky in the semis. It was a disappointing end to a great year, but one could argue, based on DU's list of achievements, it was the very best Division I season in Pioneer basketball history.
It's the job of every graduating class to leave the program in better shape than they found it. For the class of 2012, mission accomplished. They'll take with them a combined 549 games of college experience and the knowledge their efforts have set the table for unprecedented success at the University of Denver.